most of the roadmap you see online are not created by people who practice data science they just copy paste stuff from some other website and make their own roadmap i started my career as a web developer i used to work on different technologies such as html css javascript php mysql all the other things but i got bored with all of these things and wanted to explore new different things and i saw this big hype around data science in 2017 and 18 while i was still in my college so i decided to switch my career into data science everyone was saying that data science is the sexiest job of 21st century but here's the thing there was no particular path or learning guide to learn data science at that particular time this industry was very new and they were still trying to figure out what does a data scientist actually do so i had to do many different courses watch a lot of videos read many books and blogs and made so many mistakes while learning all of these things. So in this particular video, I will tell you how I learned data science and how you can become a data scientist if you want to become one. Before even thinking to become a data scientist, you should first know what does a data scientist do because most of the people want to become a data scientist, but they don't even know what does a data scientist actually do. So first we will try to understand what does a data scientist do in real life? Even I did not know when I got started with the data science. So I used to think that data science is all about writing machine learning algorithms, training those models and deploying them into the system, basically doing all the cool things you see on the internet. So the first step of becoming a data scientist is not about learning mathematics or programming language. It's understanding what does a data scientist actually do in real world. So we will start with that. Let's take the example of Amazon. When you go to Amazon or visit the Amazon page, you will see there are so many different products front of your screen. Most of the products are getting recommended to you based on your previous search, purchase history or interest. Now these things do not happen automatically. All of the action you do gets recorded and stored in Amazon database. Everything you do from searching for the product, buying product, how much time you spend looking for one product, product you added into the cart, but did not purchase it and many more. All of this data gets stored in somewhere in the Amazon data center. Now these data are in raw format and you cannot directly analyze this data and extract the value from it. So to process that data and make that data into proper structure, data engineer comes, write some ETL jobs and make that data into proper structure and build data warehouse. Now once we have the data into proper structure, this is where the data scientist comes into the picture. Now data scientist is someone who understands the technology but also understand how business works. Understanding of business is very important if you want to become a data scientist. Without that, it will be very difficult for you to survive as a data scientist. So if you are working on Amazon as a data scientist, then you should understand how Amazon e-commerce works, how order gets shipped delivered, return and many different aspects because your role as a data scientist is help Amazon to take decision based on data. See here's the thing, businesses always want to improve themselves and they do this by understanding what their customer want that is using data to make decisions. So the first step of becoming a data scientist is understanding business domain. Now you will get the understanding of the business when you get a job and when you start working in a company and understand their day to day operation. Your role as a data scientist is use data to find insight for the company such as why customers are returning products. What are the top categories of product that got sold this year? How much time customer spends before buying one product? You ask this question and help companies to take final decision. So it should be clear now what does a data scientist actually do and why understanding of the domain is important. So all of these things I learned very hard way because I used to focus on only the technical part of the data science such as learning different tools, programming language, different packages, libraries and all the other things. But data science is less about tools and more about helping business to take decisions. So after making so many mistakes, if I want to learn data science, then how would I go for it? So the first step of this process is learn how to code. Now when it comes to learning code for data science, there are usually two languages you will focus on. One is Python and second one is R. Now if you know one of these languages, then you are good to go. But if you don't know any of these languages, then you can start your career with the Python because it is easy to learn and syntax is also quite easy to understand. Also Python supports a lot of different packages that you can use and make your life easier. You don't need to learn advanced level of coding, just learn basics of Python such as variable, loops, functions, operators, working with different data types and you are good to go. All the links in the description so you can check it out to learn all of these things. Now that you learned Python, then the second step is to learn Python for data science. Now learning Python and learning Python for data science is two different things because Python has a lot of different packages and use cases and for data 
signs you need to focus on some few packages that you will be working on so start by learning different packages used in data science numpy for working with numbers pandas to work with different file formats and manipulate data matplotlib or cborn for visualization just do one good course to learn this and you are good to go now there are many different things to learn for data scientists such as learning mathematics machine learning and all other things but before you learn all of these things you will have to do one project and how to do project let me tell you how this is how you should do your first data science project and this is one of the most easiest method that i use to learn data science you have to go to this website called as kegel.com if you don't know what kegel is it is an online competitive website for data science you have so many different data sets available to practice you go on this website pick any beginner level project such as titanic or housing price prediction click on any data set you want click on the code and you will find different solutions submitted by people all around the world for that particular problem go and click on any solution you find interesting check few of them and select one that you like now what you have to do click on new notebook notebook is a jupyter notebook is where you can write your python code and you will learn when you do your python for data science course click on the new notebook and just start writing exactly what is written in the solution now few things here you are not going to press ctrl c plus ctrl v we are not going to copy paste all the solution this particular exercise is not about copying things from other people the main goal of this exercise is to give you the taste of what does a data science project actually looks like you will have to understand how the code is written understand the thought pattern behind the logic you are going to write things line by line as written in the solution execute that code and understand what output it gives this way you will learn some new things such as library or packages that are used in solution and google it to understand it more you will get hands-on experience in writing code and your confidence level will increase. I have personally done this particular thing in my career and believe me, if you do this, your confidence level will increase and you will be able to do more of these projects in future. Most of the people give up learning data science because they get stuck in course loops. So they keep doing courses after courses but never really do hands-on practice and take any actions. But what I'm telling you is to directly apply whatever you learn and get started with the data science. Now let's assume that you have done all of this exercise. Then what to do next? Then comes the part of learning mathematics statistics for data science. Again, you don't need to learn high level mathematics or calculus to become a data scientist. You just need to know basics of statistics such as understand mean, median, mode, some other basic concepts such as understanding distribution, regression, understanding probability. All of these things are enough to get started. Why you don't need to learn high level mathematics at the start because you will be working in a company and you will be working in a business problem and business logics are pretty straightforward to replicate in the code. Many times you might try to build some dashboard or which visualization or metrics you will have to display average values such as average orders in the last month or average revenue of the last year and for that you will need to know these basic concepts again you don't need to learn high level calculus or mathematics to become data scientist if you are going for the phd or if you are thinking to work on some research area then you might consider learning all of this concept in detail but if your goal is to get a job and work in a company then you might not need high level mathematics on the first place. One thing I want to tell you is that most of the roadmap you see online are not created by people who practice data science. They just copy paste stuff from some other website and make their own roadmap. If you see the roadmap from the people who actually practice data science, then you will see much more clarity and you will understand path to becoming a data scientist is much simpler when you actually learn from the people who practice data science in real world because they will give you much more clarity what they do in day to day basis and you will be more motivated to complete that roadmap. So don't get caught up on learning hundreds of skills. Just learn basic skills, apply your knowledge into some projects and get started. Now let's consider that you learn all of these things. Then what to do? Then you start learning about machine learning. As a data scientist, you might work on some basic prediction or classification algorithm. You have some revenue data and you want to predict revenue for next month. For that, you will have to build some regression model. So having knowledge of machine learning is a plus point. I'm not telling you to learn deep neural network or go deep into deep learning. I'm not telling you to learn all of these things. All I'm telling you to understand is some of the basic concepts such as regression, classification, clustering, understand the basics of machine learning, learn some packages in the Python such as scikit-learn and you'll be good to go. Once again, when you learn machine learning concept, then go to Kaggle, find some of the notebooks that have machine learning implemented on some of the projects copy that project to hands-on practice and repeat the same process. This will give you hands-on practice and your confidence level will also increase. Now learning does not stop here. Data science is very big field. 
all the new tools are coming into the market and you will have to learn those things as you go forward but you don't need to learn all of these things in one go as you get a job or an internship and you start working in different company you will get different requirements and you will start working on all of these things because you have your fundamentals clear then it will be much easier for you to learn new tools and this is practically how you learn data science if you want me to create a detailed roadmap of different skills that needed to become a data scientist then comment below i want data science roadmap and i will make that for you as you want to become a data scientist you should also understand this particular thing when you click on that like button that particular data will go and get stored in youtube database then it will get picked up by some recommendation algorithm based on that it will rank this particular video and recommend this particular video to more and more people so all i'm asking you if you learned something and if this video helped you to learn something new then don't forget to hit that like button and if you are new here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you for watching see you in the next video